is Bino. Welcome back to my channel. Today what I wanted to do was talk about the Canute. It's another one of my favorite knots and in fact it was the one that I was using before I started using the Mitchell Con. Um, I'm going to do it in a 30 inch cord and a 24 inch cord. Okay so the first way I'm going to tie the Canute I'll use a 30 inch cord and I'll start from the bottom going upward. So I'm going to get the length that I think I'm going to need. So I'm thinking it's about this much. And I'm going to start on this side of my climbing line with the long part of the cord. I'm going to take a wrap downward and then I'm going to continue wrapping upward over that one. So I'm going to cross over it and then I'll do one wrap. Here's the second one, two, three, and this is the fourth. So when I get to the top, now this bottom leg, I'm going to slide this side out and then I'm going to put this one from the top going into that little one I just slid out and I'm going to capture it and now I got to adjust the legs I'm a little bit off so what I got to figure out is how to give myself some more more slack there okay you want the legs to be equal when you're doing this There we go, that ought to do it. So then I'll get my pulley and my carabiner. I'm gonna put on a leg on each side of the pulley. Okay. And then I'm gonna put it under some tension. I'm gonna make sure that it's gonna be right. Okay, so all right. Oh, there we go and I'm going to do a little bit of a on rope for us with this okay and it holds so let's look at that again so after I've tied it you can see how the top came over and it's kind of like a cross one leg goes this way and then on the opposite side is what it looks like so the bottom is one wrap and then four on top. One, two, three, four. So that's the Canute with a 30 inch cord. So now I'm gonna tie it with a 24 inch cord and I'm gonna go from the top down. So I gotta get the length that I think I'm gonna need. I think I'll start about, you know, hand width. I'll go to behind the line on this one and then I'm gonna start wrapping downward. And I'll do three turns downward. One, two, and three. Now I'm going to switch and I'll, on the opposite leg, I'm going to create a bite and see how the leg, the, the, the wrap comes in front and I make the bite, but I put the back leg behind it. And then what I'm going to do is this other leg will go right through it's the bite on itself. And now I'm just going to situate it. And this is a canute with a, a four wrap canute. And get it situated get the leg equal okay so that's is what it's going to look like from the front you have these two crosses and then this is what it'll look like from the opposite side so one two and three and the last one's a fourth wrap let me connect it and get my pulley I'm gonna put a leg on either side of the pulley Check it. There we go. Okay, let me connect myself. Put it under a little bit of weight. Okay. Get my glove on. There we go. And I'll just go a little bit up in the tree here and put weight on it. It's holding pretty good. Um, same with all the other hitches. You just grab the highest part and you pull down it. It releases. So that's the Canute on a 24 inch cord going from the top to the bottom. Okay, so now that I have it tied, I'm going to go up the tree, ascend the tree just into the lower branches there. Um, just to see how it works. 
Alrighty, here we go. Oops, sliding a little. So, um, how when I was using the Mitchell Con, this one is just as smooth um, on the ascending part. When you uh, start going up, it really is super easy to uh, to tend. And then when you put your weight on it, it doesn't budge. Pretty nice. It's a little bit longer when it when you rest than the Mitchell Con though. So uh, now that I got into the canopy, uh, I wanted to show a little bit about what it does when you're moving around. So the, the canoe, it's a little bit more stretched out than the Mitchell Con, um, but it's it's a really pretty reliable knot. So same thing if I, if I move up, when it, when it starts to ascend, it really is a real quick free moving knot. It does have a little bit more setback than the, the Mitchell Con. But then when you, you go to uh, descend, you know, you pull the two fingers. At first it's kind of tight, but if you um, move it harder, it goes pretty quick. So you just want to be careful, you know, you get to the finesse part of it. So at first it's pretty tight, but then it can move on you. Um, but it's a real nice one. So what I'm going to do is I'll go back to that side over here and walk down on the branch. And just show what it does when you're moving in and out on a branch or out and in <laughs> so the same kind of thing you always notice that you want to go to the high point and then pull down and that'll release your knot try not to put your hand underneath because that that way um, you won't hit the, um, you get your gloves stuck oops whoa, whoa, whoa. Hang on. All right. Oops. Okay. Okay. Going on. All right. Now that you guy got out, it's really easy to move around. Oops. But when you, uh, Decide to 10 in, it's really super easy. I'd say it's even, it moves in even faster than the Mitchell Con. See how it releases? Really pretty quick. Let me go in. It's just like there's no knot. You're just moving it and it just slides. There you go. Okay, so now that I'm then I'm gonna descend down and show how it works. So uh, same thing, get the two fingers and I'll start descending. So at first it's pretty tight. So when you're pulling pretty tight, it seems like the more you pull, the faster it'll go. And it's pretty free flowing. Yeah, but it's actually a pretty nice moving knot. Moving knot. Oh, that last bit. Like if you pull it kind of hard, it can really slide quick on you. So that's something to be careful about. But as it is, I you know if I put all my weight on it, it's really a, a nice moving knot. Um, it moves a little bit quicker with the 30 inch cord. Um, for myself, if I'm using it, I'd like it with the 24 inch cord. Um, but there you go, the Canute. So uh, this is the Canute. Um, like I said, it was is. It is still one of my favorite um, climbing hitches, and it was in the one that I used way uh, before I was using the Mitchell Con. Um, so with the 24-inch cord, I really like the way it moves, um, ascending and descending. Um, with a 30-inch cord, pretty much almost identical. It's really nice. I think it might be a little bit faster, so something to consider. Um, remember, with this knot, it really moves like you don't even have a knot when you're tending, when you're going up. Um, when you come down, it's pretty tight a little bit, but if you pull it harder, then it can really run. So kind of you want to think about it. Be careful when you're doing it. Um, as always, remember, when you're doing something new, 
work with it low and slow. Um, there we go, Canute. Well, I hope you guys liked the video. Comment, like, and subscribe. Um, hit that notification bell if you like what we do. Share our videos with friends if, if they like this kind of thing. Um, take care. See you next time.